Am I the astronaut for being mad that my husband let us buy a possibly haunted house? Oh, like legit. That's terrifying. We're in our early 30s with kids. We decided to sell our home and upgrade to a bigger one. We were looking for houses a couple of months and finding it frustrating. Got outbid on one we really liked. Then my husband told me his coworker was selling his house and thought we might be interested. Me and my husband went over for dinner, had a good time, and got a good look at the house. It met everything we were looking for. We decided to go forward and enter negotiations about buying the house and moved in in July. Living in the house has been nice so far. However, I recently ran into the co-worker's wife at the supermarket and we were chatting about the house. I mentioned I'm starting to decorate for the fall and she said, the spooky decorations will make the ghost feel at home and laughed. I was very confused and asked her what she meant and she seemed equally confused. She said she and the kids had weird experiences, bad nightmares, door slamming, other weird noises, creepy auras in the house and that they thought it was haunted. She assumed that my husband had mentioned that to me and we were on the same page that we didn't care. Well, we were not on the same page. My husband never told me. For background, my husband is a very skeptical and rational man. I confronted him and he said he didn't tell me because one, his co-worker said he'd never experienced anything, so it was just the wife and kids, and two, he knew that I would get irrational and be scared even though the house is perfect for us. Three, ghosts are not real anyway. He insisted that he did not withhold information about the house itself. It was just irrelevant information about the co-worker's family and their beliefs. I am infuriated that he let us buy this house without telling me. I now feel scared in my own home. I don't feel safe here at night anymore and every noise puts me on edge. I have been looking for a sale on cameras so we can record inside the house and see if we identify if any spirits are visiting. I also told our children about it so they can be safe and aware, but my husband is mad at me because they're scared now too. I am hoping that the previous family was either hallucinating, but with both the wife and kids, or that the spirits traveled with them to their new house. I'm not sure what I will do if they are actually here. My husband is not being very considerate of my fears and just keeps insisting that ghosts are not real. He says I have no right to be mad and throw our family into turmoil over this. I know what he believes, but it's not what I believe. And he put us into this situation. Am I the ass cannot? Yeah. I mean, my, my deal on this is that if it is something that makes your your spouse feel unsafe, then it needs to be something that you take seriously, whether or not you believe in that kind of thing. If it is something that makes your spouse feel unsafe, take it seriously. It doesn't matter. You don't have to believe it. Um, and, you know, the previous family, I'm trying to look where where the kids were told here. Oh, I also told our children about it so they can be safe and aware, but my husband is mad at me because they're they're scared now too. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know about telling the kids. I think I would want some kind of validation. I would want to see something myself before having that conversation. But also, I mean, if you're pretty convinced that that things really did happen there before and you want them to be safe. I, uh, but it seems like, you know, hubby was intentionally withholding the information and that is information about the house. I mean, he can try to rationale his way out of this and say it was just about their beliefs, but it's not. It's something that is a belief that was tied to the house. I feel like that's withholding information. I feel like it's an, it's an asshole move on his part because it's something that she's genuinely concerned about now and concerned enough to tell her kids and that if nothing else, maybe she shouldn't have done it but it gives you an indicator of how scared she is by the prospect of that kind of thing happening. Gosh, there was a, there was a movie we watched candy thunder where um, these people bought this really nice house and it uh, ended up being haunted and everybody in the neighborhood, the watcher, but they thought it was haunted, right? Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, I don't know. I can't imagine putting my, putting candy thunder in a situation where she didn't feel safe and withholding information from her, that would make her feel unsafe and then something happening, right? I, I can't imagine that happening. So the question here is, am I the asking out for being mad that my husband let us buy, buy a possibly haunted house? Uh, you can't be an asshole for feeling something, right? So the question here is, am I the asking out for being mad? And no, I don't think you're the asking out for being mad. What you do with that information is where you could potentially be the asshole or not. And maybe telling the kids is something that you shouldn't have done. Um, but again, I think it's an indicator of, of how how scared she actually was about all of this and how seriously she took it. The big problem here is that you have an imbalance and you have, you have, you've got an imbalance. You're going to have messy communication. Now you've got one parent saying this is absolutely not real. And, uh, and, and you shouldn't care. And then you've got the other saying that, that yes, this is real. And you definitely 
should take it seriously. And those two parents have to get on the same page and develop some kind of plan here because the additional confusion for the kids is just going to heighten and muddy things. And for that, yeah, for that, they get the everyone sucks here for not coming to some kind of agreement about how to handle this with the kids. What you have known or felt from the home to that point, I'm sure that plays into into anything as well. But she hadn't said anything before this. She hadn't had any kind of experiences. So uh, we have had some stories before and we've had people people pop in and say, you know, house ghosts don't follow people. I don't know. I'm not well versed in that kind of thing. I do know that uh, that my folks used to go down to like Crescent Hotel and Eureka Springs and and do other kind of ghostly experiences like they would like to do those kind of things. Um, you wouldn't do it. <laughs> Candy Thunder says no, she would not not do it. But I know that my mom would uh, would before they leave would would tell tell the spirits that sh- they couldn't come with her before she got in the car. Like that was a ritual kind of thing to let them know. So I don't know. I don't know how any of that works. I don't know. You know how how um, how valid it is. I don't. I, don't. I mean, all of this is possible. Anything is possible here, but I think it comes down to one person not taking the other person's feelings seriously. And she's allowed to be mad about that. That's understandable. Um, When it comes to communicating to the kids, that's a completely separate thing. 